During this video, let's let's get this started out. Uh, Savannah Collins is uh, we're gonna start a new shout out thing. And Savannah Collins, uh, you're the first shout out. So shout out to you. Thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel. What is up, guys? It's me, it's Supercharged. So today we're gonna be talking about the Dodge Demon. So starting this video off, let's let's start driving around. Okay, guys. So let's get right into the video. Um. This is the Dodge Demon I'm in. Um, it's rumored, not rumored, but uh, Dodge says it has 800 and uh, 40 horsepower, which we don't know if that's to the wheels or to the crank or it's in the middle like the Hellcat was. The Hellcat had about 750 horsepower to the crank with like 670 to the wheels. Um, I went to a Hellcat stock dyno and he ran about 670 to the wheels, 660. And so. Dodge tends to lie about the horsepower. Um, they do it a little bit less to help you for the insurance. It's kind of funny because a demon comes, you have like an insurance provider. Um, what was the name? Something with an H. Um, I'll find that out later. So the demon, 4,200 pounds. 4,200 pounds, okay. That's like 300 pounds off, okay, off the, the Challenger Hellcat with an additional 840 horsepower, which is what we think. Now, we don't know if that's on pump gas. We don't know if that's on race gas. We don't know what. You know, we don't know if that's the rear wheels. We don't know if that's the crank or it's in the middle, okay? So, we, d we don't know a lot of stuff still, but we know it has 840 horsepower. I wish they just ran it into 50. 840 horsepower, okay? It does zero to sixty in two point three seconds. This is gonna be the fastest production car made in its rear wheel drive. It is gonna be the first production car to come with street slicks that are custom to the demon that wrinkle. Um, it's gonna be the first production car to have the widest hood scoop to have maximum air come into this new super beefed up Hellcat engine. Well, it's not exactly a Hellcat engine. It's a whole new Hemi. It's still a 6.2. Everything in there is new. Every, almost, I think there is one part that stayed the same from the Hellcat. Everything else is a new. They use a 2.7 meter supercharger that pushes 8 pounds of boost. Okay. So that does 0 to 16 2.3 seconds, well, which I just said will make it the fastest production car out there, okay? And it's rear-wheel drive! Tessa, you gotta step your game up. A oh, rear-wheel drive just beat your fastest production car game. And it probably, it's in the same price range. Tessa, you're going against a $60,000 Hellcat versus a hundred, hundred, whatever, thousand plus thousand. And you won, okay, and now we're stepping up. We're gonna put a hundred thousand dollars or equals the same amount of years, which markups probably gonna make it equal a hundred thousand dollars. It's gonna be less and it's gonna be faster. Um this car is actually so fast, um it doesn't have a full built-in roll cage in it. So it got banned from NHRA for running too fast of a time. Um if you have a we drag race and if you have this happened to us. If you run faster than a 9.99, over 135 miles per hour, you have to have a full car roll cage. That means through the hood and through the trunk is a full car roll cage. And the, the, the demon doesn't have it. So right now, sitting is banned from NHRA. So what you got to do is, one of the first things you should do when you get uh, your demon is do the full car roll cage, which I don't know how easy that's going to be. It might be easy, might be hard. Um, another thing they added is a trans brake. This is going to be the first production car with a trans brake. This means you can sit at the tree with 8 pounds of boost. Okay, and you're, you're going to be launching at 1.8 G's. That is a lot. 1.8 G's. Um, that, that's crazy. You have three 15s all around, which, yeah. Um, when you drag race, you actually get a kit that goes in the back of the trunk. Um, get out of here, car. You have a kit that 
comes in the back of the trunk and you can put your spare front tires which will make you really um, more than three feet a production car that wheelies you don't have to do any modifications you just go to the drag strip a production car that can really off the line okay that is pretty impressive now if it does make 840 horsepower to that with pump gas um, I, w I want to know how much um, horsepower would make on race gas so we don't know which one it's using it might be, it might have been on race gas when it ran nine seconds we don't know another thing we don't know is the price most people think it's gonna be like 85k to 90 and then markups gonna put it over a hundred thousand we don't know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a damn good deal for your money the fastest production car for only a hundred thousand dollars that's pretty good compared to these million dollar all-wheel drive supercar other than that dodge is built to go in a straight line you guys say how much it weighs it is built to go in the straight line the challenger was born to go in a straight line so was the camaro and so was the mustang but over the years ford and chevy decided to go a different path the challenger was born to go in a straight line and it's gonna stay born going the fastest in the straight line so we're, we're gonna talk about Camaro for a second, or Chevy. Chevy went had to go to Hennessy to build a thousand horsepower uh, ZR1, and it is supposed to only run in the tens. Come on, Chevy. Dodge has an 840 horsepower Challenger that can run in the nines, and you have a thousand horsepower Camaro that can only run in the tens. That's kind of sad. At least, at least NHRA is not gonna ban it, you know. Um, now, to get a passenger seat, it's $100 extra. To get a rear seat, it's $100 extra. And to get a radio system is $100 extra, which is really not that bad. Um, seats are pretty expensive, and for $100 for these comfy racing seats, that's really not that bad. Dodge has pretty quality seats. They're actually pretty comfy. Um, you can daily drive a race car. This is what it is. You're daily driving a street monster this thing like okay you say you meet up a gtr in the light that's modified you're most likely gonna beat it stop now the first mod if i did was ever to get a demon was i would straight pipe it and see how loud i can get it because this would be pretty bomb straight pipe i mean you know what i mean i'll be wrong blah, blah. So this thing is really really fast and i just want to warn you chevy and four fans you're coming out well, Ford, you're coming out with that GT500, but you better be ready to make that thing hook up, because Dodge is coming for you. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video, and goodbye.